Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be playing Kingdom Come Deliverance on the Steam Deck. This game is marked as playable, not verified due to the small text. So as you can see at the right, the options menu <laughs> is pretty tiny. So 800p, no HD textures because we're on a Steam Deck. Basically medium settings with high particles, high post-processing, high textures, water details and the draw distance I lowered it quite a bit to like 20% maybe because I'm targeting 40 FPS here and I'll show you why in a second. So here I'm in a city and on purpose I'm going to run through it and here is when you're going to notice that we are CPU bound. So this is a stress point. When you're going quickly through a populated area with more complex geometry, such as this one. No matter what you do, it'll drop because CPU usage in this area. So yeah, it's quite demanding here, but most of the time it's not like this. I mean, we're streaming a lot of data very, very quickly. As you can see, if I'm in a less complex environment, it's test about 40. There's some invisible walls too. Able to swim. Yeah, same as Sammy <laughs> He cannot swim. So as you can see, it's more of a CD issue. But then if you're off the horse, it's not that big of an issue. This is more of a slow game. So I wouldn't say 40s is mandatory. It's, it looks smoother, don't get me wrong. And the 40 FPS cap wouldn't mean that you are at 40s at all times. Especially when it comes to towns such as this one. So you gotta sacrifice visuals, draw distance, all that good stuff to be able to stay over 40 most of the time. But again, since this is a slower game, to say it in some way, I don't think 30s is a big issue. Quite the opposite. I mean, especially at the beginning, the first few hours, it's a very slow game. They also announced the second one in the series. This is a CryEngine title, and the next one that's coming this year, apparently, it's also CryEngine. So visuals, I think, are still amazing, even on medium settings. But again, when you're moving fast through a city, well, basically a town, you're going to drop below 40. So if you don't care about that, it should be a good way to do it. But I personally, in this particular case, rather play at 30 due to the slow nature of the game, even on combat. So let's just do that. All right, so my recommended settings mostly for 30 FPS because slower game, 800p again. But on the advanced graphics, we're doing basically high settings with medium physics. So everything on high, physics on medium. And the draw distance of the vegetation, I increased it to 50%. LOD and objects to 75%. And that's basically it. So again, I'll lock it to 30 just for performance stability. <laughs> so let's do that. We come here and we disable the frame limit. Sorry, enable the frame limit and keep it at 30 FPS. Okay, so I unplugged the charger and we got like probably 90 minutes of battery out of this. It uses quite a bit of resources, especially when you go through a town, the CPU screams for help. So again, this is a stress point on purpose just to stress test the Steam Deck. As you can see, no matter what you do, if you're running through a bigger town like this with a horse, the frame times spike quite a bit. But then as you start going into more of a vegetation heavy area, it stabilizes. So again, this is how I would personally play the game. Thing is, I cannot get out of the town. Give me one sec. <laughs> and one guard is angry.
So again, it's okay. Just some stress points like this one. That basically the game maxes out the CPU. So there's not enough power for the CPU and GPU to be at its maximal frequency. But with the 30 FPS cap, it's an improvement, especially when it comes to stability and battery life. Battery life though is like 90 minutes, so not amazing. But the draw distance is better with this 30 FPS configuration. It's just towns on a horse are a big pain. But you're not going to be all the time on a horse, that's what I'm trying to say. And this is, after I finish the game actually, this is the epilogue. So it took a while to get to these areas. I think it took me like over three hours to get here for the first time. So in my opinion it's completely worth playing like this. You get better shadows, better draw distance and a consistent 30 considering how good the game looks in my opinion, CryEngine title, I think is worth the effort. So let me show you somewhere else. Alright, so we are in one of the first sections of the game that we're actually just fleeing from the enemy. And as you can see, for the CPU at least, it's a way easier time. Considering, well, we're outside of a town, it's more of an open location. You're not doing much here, actually, when it comes to... It's mostly characters chasing after you, and you being around very grassy areas. So I would say you can even increase the draw distance if you wanted to. Because most of the game can handle it. So let's see how it goes with 100% draw distance. Maybe a little bit overkill. Yeah, it doesn't change that much actually. So you can max out the draw distance if you want to. Also, funnily enough, this game a month ago came out on Nintendo Switch, which blew my mind that they were able to make it run there. There's some places though where on the Switch it runs into the 20 FPS range, especially on castles and towns. And when it comes to the open locations, it's 25 to 30 with huge cuts to graphics, but they actually made it work. Which I think is super impressive, considering the hardware that the Switch has. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So you might say, oh, it's no surprise it runs on Steam Deck. Yeah, but the visual fidelity you get on Steam Deck in comparison to Switch is a huge difference. So yeah. Considering the slowed nature of this game, I think 30s is fine. You can get 40s sacrificing the visuals, mostly draw distance, shadow resolution and all that. But I don't think it's worth doing. I'll just play at 30, enjoy the visuals. Take a deep breath, <laughs> and it's all fine. Great looking game, in my opinion. And I'm bleeding. Oh great. I'm at the very start of the game, and as you'll notice, these areas are less of an issue. It's a town, yeah, but you don't have a horse, you're just running around. Although after playing this on Switch, I can tell you that the pop-in here is nothing in comparison to Switch. If you see the animations of the characters on the Switch, they are like 10 FPS from this distance. Here they actually look like 3D models. But I mean, they're still popping, but nowhere as bad as on the Switch, obviously. Although here we got some drops in performance, maybe because it's the first time I run into here. And there's more characters and all that. Yeah, I, I can see some stuff loading in, actually. Interesting. So yeah, it works pretty well. I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I thought it was going to be way worse. I remember when it came out, it ran pretty bad. But when it came out, I had like a 750 Di. I'm starting to get hungry. Classic. Alright. 
So we recommend this on the Steam Deck, definitely. If you have an OLED Steam Deck, you'll be you'll be more consistently at 30 in the city, city locations due to the faster memory. The CPU can actually do the extra legwork that you need. So what I would do in that situation is just lock it to 30 and keep it like this. The frame times will be way better. Hang on. Let's get him down. I'll knock him out. There's no reason to talk to him. I can just steal everything. Drop body. See you in hell. And we'll take all his things. And we're just going to sell them. <laughs> Before that though, let's enter his house. I'm such a good guy. Oh my god. I'm the best. Okay, we Unlocked unlock it because we got the everything. Get into that. We can wrap everything. It's interesting that we have a light here that casts shadows. <laughs> a little bit too aggressive, but I'll take it. And now we grab everything we stole and we sell it. Hello. Greetings. What do you need? I need to sell all my stolen goods. But as you can see, the UI is super small. That's why this game is not verified. I don't know how you would fit this in such a small screen. Probably you have to redesign all this. And we're going to check the basket and haggle because she won't take stolen goods for an expensive price. Stolen goods to me. How much do you have in mind? Okay, how much did I have in mind? I'll go for that. Yeah, also the three models are way better than what I saw on the Switch. Although the eye adjustment for the lighting drops performance a little bit. As you can see, you can get blinded by going outside from a dark area to a brighter area. So that drops frames. But otherwise, it's completely fine. Again, if you have an OLED Steam Deck, expect more consistent 30s without those drops in performance. But otherwise, that's basically it. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Also, cutscenes drop. Interesting. But cutscenes, you're not playing the game.